Welcome back, everyone. It's 1244. You're watching CT Style, and it is Mommy Monday. Time to make a family-friendly meal that's easy for busy moms, yes, right? that is us, right? <laughs> Kim Prasarata, she's in the house. You're a blogger. You're a children's book author. All-around good person. Oh, thanks, so, right? <laughs> oh, I like that intro. Yeah, you know, that, that's your new title on LinkedIn, I I'm guess. taking it. I'm going home and telling everyone. <laughs> so we're making spaghetti squash today. This Love is it. what I tell Emma. Hi, Emma. Is a magic vegetable. So we inside, it looks like just a regular squash from the outside mm -hmm. but when you take your fork ta-da Look it looks like pasta which is perfect for right now because it's Passover sure so currently we can't have any pasta it's a great gluten-free it's vegan vegetarian meatless Monday we got it all covered nice so what we're gonna do is we're gonna roast this in the oven and your first I'm gonna microwave it a little bit okay so you wash it really well put it on a microwave safe plate five minutes on each side till it's fork tender which just means you can poke it okay then you're gonna cut it in half Flip it upside down, face side down on a foil lined pan and bake it 350 for 30 to 40 minutes. In the meantime, you're going to make your sauce. So we're going to add a little olive oil to a pan, some fresh chopped garlic, which always makes the house smell so good. Look like anything you. you do with garlic. You have all the healthy ingredients. It smells ingredients. so good. Healthy, fresh. well, you know, a fresh spring meal on this lovely oh, snow day, right? This is so fitting. <laughs> so we're going to you know? saute up our garlic and then we're going to add some fresh tomatoes. So I do grape tomatoes mm -hmm. and I quarter them just easy, so they're easy, easy right? and small. Can we and point out you have like the cutest little spatula? Thank you. Thank you for noticing. It's very coordinated. I know. I like wow. to coordinate she everything. She's in her kitchen at her yeah. house. So yeah, anytime. <laughs> Everything's <for> brunch. cute. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Yes. And then green, green olives. So this kind of started my grandma started making this like olive pasta we call it with black olives. My mom took over with the green olives and this has mm. become like our family's famous Passed dish. Passed down through the generations. Passed down through generations. And so this is what I'm making, but of course we usually make it with pasta now. We make it with spaghetti squash yeah. for this holiday, but like I said, it's family friendly and fun. So while mm -hmm. this sautés, it turns into this. Okay. Boom. So you do this about a half hour, which coincides with your squash. Sure. So everything's all ready together. Let it cool, then you can get your kids involved, which they love. You're going to pull out the top layer, which is this like goopy, kind of like a pumpkin. You'll be the center of a pumpkin with all the good guts. Now, you pull this part out. Now, does Emma, your daughter, does she really, is she like, oh, this is some pasta? I mean, does she catch on? Or? She, I mean, you know, she likes the, the magic behind it. Okay. If you put magic behind anything, <laughs> but right? She, but she still, eats it, right? she still eats it, right? She still eats it. I mean, that's part of the Which whole... is why I like it. Parents like it because it's, you know, vitamin packed, and kids like it because it's fun and tastes mm -hmm. like This is like the original Zoodles. This is Mother <laughs> Nature's <laughs> Zoodles before zoodles. the whole spiralizer came along. So when you take the guts out, once it's cool, let the kids go. And like I showed you before, you're just going to pull it apart with a fork and it becomes, you know, just like a pasta. What you can do with your seeds, you add an instant snack, don't throw it away. Ah. Take them out, you're going to separate the guts, so to speak, from the seeds. Roast them on a baking pan, a little olive oil, salt and pepper, about 350, about, you know, can we try half one? hour, please do. They're mind? nice and crunchy, also coach for pasta. Oh. I thought they were pumpkin, but yeah. it's a squash seed. Uh, squash, you use everything you have. This is also a great snack for the us. kids. You could do salt and pepper, you could do cinnamon sugar, cumin, whatever you like. We're going to add a little kosher salt and pepper to our dish. And then this is the finished product right this in front of us. This is the finished product, so you're going to take the center of this, right. you would add it to this pan, there you push go. it all together. Boom. And I feel like you can eat a lot of that too. It's pretty healthy. You for can you, eat right? the entire mm. thing if you want. Like a little Parmesan on top if you're not going vegan, mm -hmm. and it's a perfect family meal. Awesome stuff. We're gonna we have love the full it, Jen. recipe. Uh, that's so Jen.com and WTNH.com, and we're gonna enjoy this during the commercial Thanks. break. It's awesome a lovely job. lunch. Stay right. with us. More